my name is Miranda and today I am here to review slash give all my thoughts on season 3 of SCOM and before I even sat down to film this video I was like there's just no possible way I'm going to be able to encapsulate, if that's even a word, all the feelings and thoughts I have about season 3 of SCOM and what it's done for me and what it's meant to me because it is literally the first season I ever watched and it's what got me into this whole show and in my opinion it is the best season and I feel like part of that could be again because it's the first season I saw but another part is I relate to a lot of it in the terms of mental illness and stuff like that and I think that's something that I hadn't really ever seen portrayed in such a genuine raw intimate and realistic way before so like for me it was kind of like there were actual lessons that I could take from this and that was really heartening to see in a TV series and not just see it treated as kind of another plot device, plot twist, trope kind of thing. It was given the attention it deserves and then you also had everything with Isaac and his sexuality which was also I think done very very nicely in a way that you don't see a lot on TV previous to that and still don't nowadays and there are scenes from the actual show that were based on real scenes in real life and the research and the time Julie put into this I feel like was just incredible and all the issues the symbolism the imagery like there are just you could go on you can make a whole video just about all the like different kind of imagery they use with Isaac's locker and how he can't get it open in the beginning and then when he first connects with Evan, Evan opens the locker for him, then Isaac can open the locker but is still kind of unsure about it and then finally you see him on the phone in episode 10 just opening the locker without even struggling about it because he's just, he has opened up about who he is, he's with Evan, he's happy and he's got it all under control. The way you watched it too in that you were kind of discovering things along with Isaac I think was really really cool because it made you kind of fall for Evan along with Isaac, you know? Like, that was the big um, theme of season three in both Isaac and Evan is free choice. Do you want to fight for this or do you just want to lay down and let other people make your decisions? Like, Evan gets his free choice taken away a lot because of his mental disorder and people thinking that like they know what's best for him and they want to make his decisions and that aggravates him to no end. And then Isaac is someone I feel like who because a lot of his um, security was taken away from him at a young age with his family, with his parents. He doesn't really like to make honest choices. He likes to just go along with life and kind of what he's expected to do and what's expected of him. And I feel like because of that, at the end, you even see him say that like he'd rather take a life that's going to be awesome but is also going to have its hard moments and its moments where you're going to have to fight for things and it's not always going to be pretty but he'd take that any day over living a perfect lie. So I think that's really it, the crux of season three is about free choice and about allowing people, whether it's yourself, whether it's someone you're in a relationship with, you need to allow them to make f choices for themselves and that doesn't mean that you don't necessarily tell them like, hey I don't think this is good for you because we saw that with Isaac and Evan at the end, but it's in a way that you're never condescending to them or kind of like I mean we saw definitely the examples of Sonia and Isaac and it's not Sonia's fault I'm not blaming her at all it's great because I think Sonia really did redeem herself at the end when she told Isaac everything to do with Evan and that Evan really needed him right now but you saw kind of her being like don't drink that and like just left it at that and then you saw Isaac being like oh you're not having this weed and he kind of made it like into a joke like he hit it and then he distracted Evan into something else so it's kind of that and that like you just need to remember that everyone is their own person with their own choices, their own feelings, and you can disagree with those choices and you can say that, but you have to still say it knowing that they're a human being and they're a person. And I think that's a lot of what Evan struggled with is people thought his disorder was like taking over his personality, you know, and stuff like that. And he does need someone to watch out for him, but at the same time you still have to give him choices and not treat him like a five-year-old. So I think that's what... Isaac learned throughout that and kind of saw that they both were in a place where they weren't making choices necessarily so it was great that they found each other and they're just so cute together. I could go on for days about them like the pool scene when it's like Isaac's rebirth because he goes in the water and then he comes out kissing Evan literally. The scene with Oh, oh Holy Night, that whole thing how they just come together 
and you're really worried that Evan killed himself and Isaac's running there and they're just so gentle with each other and I think the actors just did such a phenomenal job like they really have such good chemistry together but then also separately the storylines they were given with Isaac having to deal with all his thoughts and feelings and Evan having to deal with his bipolar disorder and the depression and the mania that comes from that they killed it in both their scenes like Henrik did such a good job with portraying I feel like just the tiredness and the heaviness of depression <laughs> Sarah, I don't know how you say his name he did such a good job with everything and just like you could see when Isaac said something there was five more meanings behind him in the beginning and the fear and the worries and the love and just this little grumpy boy that became so cute and so lovable I think this literally has some of my favorite lines ever and one of those which literally I want to hang up on my wall I keep saying I will but then I never get around to it is Sonia's quote about how when everything just seems too much take it day by day if that's too much hour by hour and if that's too much minute by minute and that's something I personally use in my life like when I'm having a freak out at work or something like that I just sit down for a sec and I say okay like just because like this moment feels horrific and like it's never gonna end it's gonna end so like just you can't start thinking like oh my whole day's ruined my whole week's ruined like my future like that's what I Isaac and Evan were they couldn't think like my relationship is doomed because of this one thing they have to be in the moment and be like you know what in this moment it sucks but we're gonna get through this moment and then we're gonna have great times together so it was just really really great to see such again a genuine intimate portrayal of life and I feel like that's truly what it was they were teenagers but they were treated like People. I feel like a lot of times on TV, teenagers, they're into drugs, they're into sex, they're into drama. That's it. These teenagers and these characters were given complex feelings and they were independent and they had friends and feelings and they were just people. And how crazy is that to be like, to be like, oh my gosh, this show is great because they portrayed teenagers as actual human beings. But that's kind of what it was. It, we, I feel like as a society, we make younger people, teenagers, young adults like my age, we make their problems and our problems seem so minuscule in comparison to like the world and how they're just freaking out about their boyfriend won't text them back or they can't twerk right or something like that. But you can have problems worse than anything you could ever imagine and I think the time and effort that the show showed in that and showed also a happy ending was just so so wonderful and I will always be so appreciative of this season and of the actors and what they did and I think it is just so so great so if you have seen season three of Scone because like I said I could go on forever about this please feel free to leave your thoughts about Demo in the comments your favorite parts what you connected with the most all that lovely jubbly stuff so we can again cry that Scom is uh, over now sadly Anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you all for watching my Scom reaction videos. I've had so much fun. I'm just so sad that there's there's not any more because like right now we would probably be like ending season five and there's just we'd be getting ready for season six all happy and now there's just sadness. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below to be able to make all sorts of new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!